Say goodbye to this thing. We got something better. A little bit over two years ago now, I started my embroidery journey on this channel with you guys and it was short lived to say the least. I put out a video of my very first time using an embroidery machine with my Melco EMT 16X, which really kind of took off. It's actually one of the most popular videos on my channel today. Well, if you saw that video, you would know that I did get some stuff to stitch out as I should, but I wasn't 100% happy with the quality. However, I did kind of chalk that up to being the first time inexperience, whatever. Well, I put in quite a lot more time and test pieces after that. In fact, I shot an entire video that ended up in the trash can where I burned over a hundred hats trying to get this thing to stitch out to the quality level that people would expect out of me. and. It just wouldn't happen. It did okay doing flat stuff, I'll give it that. But hats are my main focus because at the end of the day, this isn't just a YouTube channel. This is a fully functional print shop business and every single day people come to me asking for embroidered hats. And when doing hats, it was a struggle the entire time. I'm not gonna lie to you. It didn't seem to matter how fast or slow I ran the machine, how I set things up. It was just constant thread breaks, needle breaks, other stuff going on. And then even when it did successfully embroider a hat, the quality level was just, not even close to what I would want for my shop. And since I'm not willing to put a subpar product out of this shop or make a subpar video for you guys, that machine got pushed into a corner of the shop and forgotten about until that situation got fixed. And unfortunately, that day never came. But thankfully, the days of dysfunctional embroidery machines are over, at least I hope so, because thanks to RB Digital and Tajima, in this crate, we have a brand new Tajima TMEZ. This is the most badass single head embroider machine on the planet today. Not gonna lie, my previous experience with embroidery left a really, really bad taste in my mouth and my hopes are high that this thing is gonna fix it. So we got Derek from RB Digital here, probably the only person that's ever been in the shop that's actually taller than me. So what are we gonna be doing? Uh, we're gonna be setting up a Tajima TMEZ and doing a full install and training. So we're gonna start off, put the stand all together, plop this big bastard on top of it, and then go from there. I guess start installing and stitching and I don't know. I don't know what's all involved in this. <laughs> part. Oh, 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 I don't know how to do it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Actually, wait, no, no, this is the best part. This is the best part right here. The peel. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Well, that already looks better, doesn't it? This is the Tajima TMEZ. As I mentioned, probably one of the most, if not the most amazing badass embroidery machines on the market today. This is obviously the single head version because clearly I can't fit anything else in this shop, but I'm pretty sure this thing goes up to a six or an eight head, something like that. It's a 15 needle machine, so we got 15 colors to play with. And the coolest part about this thing is the fact that it's basically fully automated. What that means is it has fully automated thread tensioning. It adjusts the thread tension in real time as it's running. Thread tension is A, one of the more time consuming things to set up and B, probably one of the more common areas where people make mistakes. So I don't have to think about that. The machine's doing it for me. And it also has a digitally controlled presser foot. So no more manually adjusting presser foot height settings. So again, the machine is gonna make those adjustments in real time for me. So I don't have to think about that. It's gonna be able to keep whatever I'm sewing as stable as possible at all times and sense weird things like seams, peaks, valleys, whatever, and adjust accordingly to make sure it's at the right height at all times. And that's what makes this machine so awesome for someone like me because I don't wanna have to think about all that stuff. I'm trying to hire right now, but currently I'm still a one man show and I gotta worry about running that auto, reclaiming screens, keeping in touch with clients, 
sending invoices and like 3,000 other things. So the last thing that I wanna do is take more time to learn all those little details. I definitely will eventually because like anything else, I wanna get good at this. I wanna really understand it. I don't wanna just be a button pusher, but for now, I want embroidery just to work so I can do all this other stuff. So this machine, is gonna do that for me, I think. And it also has this super cool little touchscreen control panel, basically an entire computer built right into the machine. The old one had to break out an ethernet cable, plug in a laptop, run two pieces of software, very clunky, hated everything about that. This one, super intuitive user interface, very easy to operate, makes everything so much smoother and so much more efficient and better efficiency means better product, better output. <laughs> So we spent the whole first day setting up. Derek went through this entire machine, made sure everything was completely dialed. So hell yes to that. It's day two. We're gonna run our first test stitch on this thing. Fingers crossed. being a shitty old test shirt and being the first time that this thing is run, very impressed so far. But now the real challenge, the one thing the other machine always struggled with. Let's put a hat in this. So that went pretty well. Obviously, neither one of these designs are something that we would put out. These are both just test designs that make the machine run through all 15 needles and test out different types of fill and stitch patterns and all that type of stuff. And this hat is also unstructured, so I'm not really gonna fully count that as a hat test just yet. I wanna stick an actual structured flat bill in there, something that's a little bit more difficult, and then we'll see what it can do. But so far, so good. My feelings about embroidery are slowly turning around, so I'm happy about that. But before we go any further and throw more complicated stuff at this thing, we gotta run through some training, teach me how this entire machine works. This whole control panel looks very complex and complicated. All the setup things, there's, there's a lot when it comes to embroidery and I'm gonna have to pack in a lot of information in a short amount of time. I am trained, the machine is dialed. Derek stayed here for two whole days, going over pretty much every aspect of this thing, making sure everything was perfect and here in this shop, we really pay attention to the details. We go the extra mile and it's really nice to work with other people who share that same mentality. So thank you, sir. That makes me feel really good about getting into this whole thing. We already did a couple test sews. You saw that. Nothing really cool happened there. It's time to get into my stuff. And I'm not messing around. The first thing we're throwing at this is the design that was giving the other machine so much damn problems and that is my logo. It's really dense. There's a crap load of stitches in there. It's like 12,000 stitches or something like that. Plus it's made up of three circles and trying to get those three circles to line up correctly was apparently a big issue. Plus there's a bunch of little details with the lettering and all that. So I don't know. Let's just get into it. I want to stick it on the machine and see what this thing can do. <laughs> Um, holy shit, that's awesome. It's pretty much perfect. I don't even know what to say right now. Ah, well done, little Jima. Little Jimmy, I'm calling it little Jimmy. This really looks amazing, especially since it's my first time running this thing by myself. I know with embroidery, it's very hard to aim for like razor sharp precision because you are drawing with thread after all and you're doing it on a thing that's moving around at the same time, but this is very close to perfection. Those circles are money. The fill is all super solid, everything looks tight. I am very, very happy with this. And if you wanna see how much better it's gotten, here's the same design on the same hat running at the same speed on the other machine. So yeah, pretty big difference. And to make sure this accuracy wasn't a fluke, I ran this thing four times and all four of them look identical. So <clears throat> pumped on that. In all fairness, I was able to get like 60% of the way to this on the other machine. However, when I did it, I couldn't run it at the same height as this. I'm running this at two and a half inches tall. I could only get two and a quarter on the other one and 
Personally, I think two and a quarter on a circular design looks stupid on a hat. I think two and a half is the money spot. Also, you can see weird stuff going on with the lines. They start thick and get super skinny. That wasn't okay with me. That one also had auto tension, but clearly mine was not doing its job because you can see it really distorted and caved in the front of this hat. That's not okay. I don't know if that was just the thing with my machine or what, so that one, we'll just scratch that because that could be an anomaly. And now the big one. In order to get it to look like that, which is something that is still well below my standard of quality, I had to run it at less than half the speed that I was running this thing at. So another win for little Jimmy. And shout out to Ken Blackwork because I reached out to him with literally zero notice. I was like, dude, please digitize this for me in a hurry. He did it in like 15, 20 minutes, sent it back to me and it is dialed. Legendary. He does a lot of great shit on YouTube with embroidery, so I linked his channel down below if you haven't checked it out already. Well, I'm feeling good now, so I just wanna have some fun, test out a few more designs. They did give me this little metallic gold thread that I really wanna see in my logo on a black hat, so let's swap out this poop brown color that's on the machine that I'll probably never use and see what this looks like. It's safe to say that I'm definitely making a bunch of these. That looks crazy good. Can't really beat black and gold, can ya? All right, I got one more design. This one is brand new. We haven't used it yet. We came up with this super sick Rogue Lab Deathcore Band style logo. Me being the metalhead that I am, clearly, <laughs> this is the way that I wish our branding could look all the time. So I am extra fucking pumped for this one. You know what, I haven't made myself a nice curb bill hat in a while. Let's go with that. My confidence level was not high on this design going into it because it's crazy, but this machine just keeps on delivering. These look super good. Actually, this red one is mine now. It took this machine one day to completely change my thoughts and feelings about embroidery because right now I am so excited to be doing this it's ridiculous. A lot of people have been bugging me for two years now, wondering where the embroidery videos are at because I made one way back then and then disappeared. Well, I'm happy to tell you the embroidery videos are coming in hot now. I'm so excited to see what we can do with this in the shop. Of course, there's all the embroidery basics that I have to learn with like puff and doing different types of garments, all that stuff. But I've also got a bunch of really cool ideas for combining different pieces of equipment in the shop with this thing. The hamster wheel is going up there, so. Be prepared. Again, huge thank you to RB Digital and Tajima for making this happen. This thing is incredible. I'm pretty sure you guys changed my life a little bit today. And if anyone out there is at all interested in this machine or other Tajima equipment, I linked RB Digital down below so you can get in touch with them and figure all that out. Also, if anybody wants one of the hats that I made here today, they are all available in the Rogue Lab store, also linked below. I made a small batch of each one that you saw here, so you better move your ass if you want one. It's late, so I better get out of here or else I'm gonna stay in here all night playing with this thing. We are back in the embroidery game. Mm. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Lots more embroidery stuff coming. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. <laughs> Holy shit, how's that for clearance? I definitely can't fit anything else in this shop. Or is there a mouse in here? I hear something chirping. A bird, mouse, man, bear, pig. Tajima, TME. Oh, I just hit my leg on the dryer. Ow, Charlie Horse. <laughs>